Dragon Ball, Pokemon, Kaiju, and more. It's Steven's Toy Reviews. Hello there, collector. Steven here, and I'm back with another Dragon Ball review. Today, we're going back to the Dragon Ball Super Universe, and we're going to be taking a look at the SH Figure Arts Goku Black Super Saiyan Rose Event Exclusive Color Edition. The absolutely mega popular SH Figure Arts Goku Black gets a chance to go back on the market as an event exclusive repaint in his Super Saiyan Rose form with uh, maybe some more accessories and some effect arts. Now with this one, he is more in line with his aura coloration when he goes Super Saiyan Rose, and he looks a little bit different. Now is this repaint gonna be worth the purchase? Well, let's take a look to see whether or not he's worth adding into your collection. This repaint of Goku Black features him exclusively in his Super Saiyan Rose form. In this set, you are not going to be getting his base head sculpt, so if you're looking for that, you are unfortunately going to have to get the standard release of Goku Black. But here, the paint scheme is meant to match that. Why is that? Well, even though it's going to be using the exact same mold as the original release Goku Black, it's going to have a pinkish, purplish, majestic, Magenta-like coloration to Goku Black, almost to emulate him in his Super Saiyan Rose form. And in almost true recent Bandai fashion, the paint application, the spray, is going to be featured more so on the front than it would be on the back, which does feel a little cheap, you might say. Not necessarily the best, but still, it does look fantastic, and not to mention the hair on this one. So we're going to take a closer look at a side-by-side -side comparison with the original release in a bit, but this head sculpt features a much deeper shade of pink. It's rather dark compared to the much more vibrant standard release, and it is a bit more metallic. Also of note, it is translucent, so if you're interested in using some fun lighting effects, congratulations, this is going to be the release for you. The face plates don't have any sort of issues to go along with them, so that is fantastic to say, and the spray used for Goku Black isn't too heavy-handed in any of the areas, and flows wonderfully with the figure. It doesn't seem out of place anywhere, and it blends in naturally. All in all, for Goku Black here, the only issue that I would have to say is that they weren't able to take care of any of the flash marks on the hair, which unfortunately we saw with the recently released Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku from the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie, which used the same head sculpt, but uh, yeah. Goku Black here looks great. All right, the articulation here for Goku Black is going to be identical to what we've seen before since, um, well, it's a repaint. So what do we have? Well, the head plugs into the neck on a ball joint, so this way we can move the head around, and then that is going to be, as we can see here, on a swivel, and then a swivel as well, so this way we can move Goku Black's head around just fine and dandy on the neck connection. So lots of movement there, very good. The neck plugs into the body on a ball joint as well, as you can see here, that neck piece is moving, pretty cool. We do have this portion here of the clothing that is going to be attached to the shoulders on ball joints so we can move it around. Doesn't block the articulation any. We do have ball jointed shoulders where they plug into the body so we can spin Black's arms around, get a little bit of rocker movement forward and back, up and down. Then there are butterfly hinges in the shoulders itself so this way we can move the arms forward about that far. Then in the actual shoulders there are hinges as well so this way we can raise and lower Black's arms along with moving them forward together a bit closer with the help of the butterfly hinge and with a bicep swivel and double elbow hinge, um, well, if I had the appropriate hands, you'd see he can strike a Kamehameha pose. Wonder if I'll be showing that in a little bit. But yes, we do have a bicep swivel and a double elbow hinge. Now, if you're not able to get the elbow uh, hinge to work closest to the uh, bicep, don't worry about that. You're just going to have to work it a little bit and it will move uh, eventually. You just got to 
practice it a little bit, get it to move. Now for the wrists, the hands plug in on a ball joint, and then there's going to be a swivel along with a hinge, so this way we can get some decent movement out of the wrists as well. So do keep that in mind. Pretty good movement for the wrists. We do have a ball jointed ab crunch, which gives Black some decent range here. He can crunch down about that far, lean back about that far, tilt from side to side, all sorts of good movement there. And we do also have a waist ball joint, so this way we can move him around a bit more as well. That's always good. For the hips, we do have a double swivel here, so this way we can spin the legs out about that far, kick back about that far, and then for the splits, we go out about that far. If you were to disassemble, you'd see that there's like a little pin that plugs into the pelvis and that uh, enables the swivel. We do have a thigh swivel where the hips plug into the thighs, which is pretty dang cool. We can actually spin the legs all the way around. We do have a double knee hinge ball jointed ankles give us a nice ankle rocker and then we have a toe hinge so like i said all the articulation of goku black that we know and uh sort of love but some folks uh, on the original goku black reported really tight thigh swivels not the case here but then again my original black didn't have that so yeah overall he moves well enough now it's time for accessories and here is where goku black well, it takes like five steps forward from the original release, but at the same time takes maybe like two or three steps back. So what do we have? Goku Black is going to come with all of the hands that he originally came with, along with all of the face plates he originally came with. That's right, even for his base form head sculpt. Goku Black is also going to come with two effect parts. One of them is going to be a repaint or a, a recast, I don't know, of the Violent Fierce God Slicer effect part. I'm just going to go ahead and call that the God Slicer. And then he's going to come with a repaint or a recast of the Tamashi effect energy aura or the aura effect, which is going to be pretty sweet. Unfortunately, this release, as stated, omits the base head sculpt and the black Kamehameha effect part. So just taking a look at the different hand parts we're going to get, not going to go super in-depth. We do get the Kamehameha hands. We do get the Karate Bugman hands. Goku Black does have the hands, so this way he can smell his finger. The instant transmission hands, and obviously the hand to use the God Slicer. For the face plates, which all work with the Super Saiyan Rosé head sculpt, we do get that smiling face, which comes default. We get the stern face. We do get a yelling face, which came with Goku Black's Super Saiyan Rosé a head sculpt normally and then we do get the looking off to the side while gritting the teeth face which is pretty sweet now for the god slicer effect part here uh while it is pretty cool it is a nice deep purple effect part it is really 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 clear and to be honest with you i'm not really a big fan of this one even in the promotional pictures it did look a bit more red than it did this purple coloration uh, personally i'm more fan of the original so um if I'm going to be displaying this, I'm probably going to be using that one instead of this one. Finally, for the accessories, we do have that Tamashi Effect Aura, and it is stunning. Out of all of the ones that I have, including... Um, uh, quote unquote Tamashi Nations ones. This is probably my most favorite. It does feature that sort of magenta ish coloration on the edges for the main spikes of the effect. And as it moves on in, it has a gradual transition over to a purple color. And it is amazing. Even the little parts that spike bike off of it in the front of the little energy waves those have a fantastic gradation in color as well and i'm very surprised they were able to do it at such a small scale so all in all in terms of accessories and effect parts here for black he comes with everything you're pretty much gonna need for a super saiyan rose display of goku black however of course there are some other effect parts and so forth on the market that you could probably use to spruce up your goku 
Goku Black display. As you can see here, maybe a Nobitsu effect part will really help you out. So if you need something, click on the card in the top right hand corner of the screen and I'll maybe help you get in the right direction. Now we're going to go ahead and move on over to a size comparison with the other event exclusive Dragon Ball figure arts I got this year. So this way you can see just how big Goku Black is going to be with some of his comrades and some other figures you just might have on your shelf. There's going to be no real size changes. Now, some of you may have noticed that I omitted one big section. I just saved it until the end. A comparison with the original Goku Black. And as you can see here, yes, the paint differences are quite astonishing. And you can definitely tell this one is meant to represent Goku Black when he has his aura going into Super Saiyan Rose. And it is a big difference. Speaking of differences here, did you happen to notice anything really, really small I did here? No, because you actually really haven't seen them up close. I actually swapped the faceplates for the event exclusive rosé head sculpt and the standard release rosé head sculpt. So if we're going to be taking a quick look at them, you can see that the rosé head sculpt for the event exclusive one actually has smaller eyes and the eyebrows, they are pretty close enough match. So this way, if you did really want to use one of the event exclusive ones on the normal rosé head sculpt, you can do that just fine. And of course, we're going to want to know exactly how that base form head may look on this rosé body. So here's a picture of Goku Black smelling his finger. Yeah, gotta be honest with you, I really don't think this vibes too well, so yeah, if you're gonna have the original Goku Black, just display it like that. Now, one, one last thing before we wrap up this review. You know, I really do have to question exactly where Bandai got the idea to make a somewhat metallic, glimmery, translucent, Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black head sculpt. Hmm. Huh. I wonder. Well, you know what? It goes well with the demoniacal fit head sculpt. Yeah. So, buy black now, skip him, or wait for a deal. As someone who owns the original release, I do have to say, if you're able to get this one for a fair price, it is absolutely worth every penny. Once I'm able to set up my official Dragon Ball Super display, this is going to take one of the center positions in that display. Just because you're able in and of itself to create a massive display of pure power with this single release. Plenty of display options and effect parts to really command attention on the shelf. So if you're a fan of Goku Black and you really want to get something interesting for your shelf, this is definitely one to pick up. If you don't have either of them and you like Super Saiyan Rose, well, you know what? Get this. Get the Obitsu effect to simulate a Kamehameha and you know what? You're good to go. Well, collectors, that brings us to the end of the video today, and I just wanted to take a second to thank you so much for watching. Now, you've heard a lot from me. I'd like to hear a little bit from you. Drop in the comments down below whether or not you liked it, you hated it, or maybe you were somewhere in between. I also want to take an extra second here for a nice, humongous thank you to all the patrons for SDR over the last month who have really helped the channel grow into what it can be today. So to all of you, two big thumbs up. Thank you very much. And now the end card should be popping up, which will give you a few clickable links, like maybe to subscribe or head on over to my Patreon, or some short URLs, like to my social media or to my Teespring store. There's also a video I hand-selected for you, so if you want to watch another STR video, I hand-selected some good content for you to watch, so definitely check out that video. Thank you again so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.